Welcome back, everybody, to another episode of Movie Social. We are your hosts, Ricky and Stefan. What's up, people? Today's episode, we're going to be doing a non-spoiler review of Netflix's series, Umbrella Academy Season 2. Yes, we're at Season 2, finally. About time. I know everybody's been waiting and anticipating for Umbrella Academy to return. It's finally here. Dropped yesterday. And so, yes, Umbrella Academy Season 2, for me, so far, was kind of a big disappointment. And hold hold on before y'all uh, try to kill me now. To me, it was a big disappointment in the fact that it repeats the same thing, in my opinion, from the first one. Without giving out spoilers of what really went on in there, it just basically repeated the same big thing. I mean, they showed it in the previews and the trailers of it being, uh, yeah, the world is ending yet again. I'm not going to say how this time, but it's basically the same thing. And with a little twist. Other than that, as far as the cast went this year with new added people in there, the cinematography, everything of that, it went well. I liked it. It's just the plot. I'm like, you guys had time to generate something else, but I know it goes off of the comic books. So, it was a great great series as a whole, but I would have liked to have seen a different plot. What do you think? Oh, it's on me now? Oh, yeah. Boy, if you don't shut up! I mean, yo. So, okay, yeah, we do know that the plot is the same, but, I again, we're not going to divulge great. into... But there are different theories as to why it's still occurring, which is, to me, a great... Like, they're trying to figure out, is this the issue? Is this the issue? Like, they're trying to find out what the issue is. It was in the first one, though. That's the thing. They, in the first one... Well, I know they got deeper into it all this Yeah, like, the first one, they were just trying to figure out who or what caused caused it. But they're finding out that they're trying to figure out, okay, did this person doing this cause it? Did the group as a whole cause it? They're trying to figure out what's causing it. And I think the entire nuance of that divulging deeper into, okay, what is causing this apocalypse to happen, no matter what time frame essentially we're in, is dope. Because it literally could be what they're thinking. It could be just them. But we never know. I mean, yes, it's a good show as a whole. But I just felt like the plot could have been a lot thicker changed up a bit and made it more unique than it was in the first one because the first one yeah that was something that we all like and watch this one i had a few moments where i was like yeah this is running into like deja vu a repeat for a moment here but then there was other parts i was like "Mm, okay i like this i like that and then i'm like "Mm, predictable and then I'm like, no, it wasn't predictable. But then, yeah, same time. So, I, I, to me, I have back and forth. To say. But I can't really divulge too far into my full reasoning, into the spoiler version. Do you know why you can't? I know why I can't. Okay, then, then shut up. <laughs> no, I can't because we're in the spoiler-free version. There's another reason why you can't. No, there's not. <laughs> we're not going to divulge it. But, I don't know what this man is talking about. I mean, all the plot, all the, the plot... It's like so many nuances and different parts of it that's being added and, and it goes further into like, oh, this person could be this person or this person could be doing that. Like that makes it so much more. And like you find out at first, like I, I learned so much more about, uh, I can't remember her name at this point and I hate that. Well, every character you learn a lot, a lot more about each one. Yeah, you do. But um, what is her name? Talking about uh, Mrs. Uh, the bad person from well, not the bad person. No, not Vanya. Not Vanya. Okay, uh, what black one? Yeah, the, I heard a rumor. Uh, I can't remember her name at this point. Crap. But you find it out because she always said it, and I never knew why. She always said her power always come with a cost. Mm-hmm. You find out. I'm not gonna say why or what it, until I until we get to our uh, spoiler uh, version. But you find out what cost it is, and. To me, like, you find out more and more, and then, as you said, you do find out more about Vanya. So, it's like, their powers, you find out more, like, what what can happen and so forth. And it's just, like, something is going on to where 
this apocalypse is happening and they're just trying to find out and I think the, the nuances of the breadcrumbs as I call them it's going to come to light and I just like that because I mean it, to me personally that is the whole mm -hmm. nuance of the story alright so I'm going to take a little bit of chunk from a um, end game here you remember there's a main trail of the timeline yeah and then so that's to me that's the main plot and then you have these little breaks yeah. off of it the main plot stays exactly the same and exactly. that's my problem not the little trails that's coming off of the main plot but the main plot has but see, exactly the same it has not changed from season one to season two because that because the story okay now they I'm, did it part one part two okay that's more understandable because it's still part of season one so let me let me try to explain this to you and this may sound weird, but let me try to explain this to, this to you in like an anime version, okay? I mean, it ain't gonna make no difference. It's not gonna change it's a, the mind it's the a, way it is. It's, it's the same plot. So like the end, but the thing is, the end of season one was basically to be continued. Yeah, they always to be continued. But that's what I'm saying. They continue in the story because obviously that normally shows, animes, whatever the case may be, don't end that particular story until it's wrapped up in a bow. That ending, that plot wasn't wrapped up in a bow. You didn't get a conclu you didn't find out anything. You found out who caused the apocalypse and this timeline. Okay, but then you still don't know. Okay, like everything. It just it wasn't wrapped up in a nice little tight, tight little cute little bow. So I understand the whole thing of continuing the story, the same apocalypse storyline because it wasn't wrapped up. Ah, I seen it, it could have went a few other ways for this season, but. I mean, you're probably going to get one or two more seasons out of this, if that, the way Netflix has been going lately. But see, I think personally, I, I haven't read the book or the comics. This may, they may wrap it up this nah, season. Because again, I don't know, because I didn't read the, sh the show will probably will continue for two more seasons, even regardless with the comics. It's about them making money out of it. I mean, it's going to wrap up in about another two seasons. But either way, all in all, it was good enough. To keep my interest but I don't know what you guys might think of it you gotta let us know in the comments below and also don't forget to subscribe and I don't know what did you think did you think it was too much of the same plot <sighs> or do you think it's completely original or do you think it's completely different from season one let us know till next time